For the sign of Scorpio, hello, welcome to my channel. Just remember the top cards that you see, they're paired with the bottom cards. And the decks that I use for this reading, I will have them listed in the description box. Below, I've already shuffled and will be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Scorpio, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the Three of Cups and it's with the Knight of Pentacles. Now, the Three of Cups is often considered to be a card of reunions. But that's not its only connotation. It can be a romantic reunion. Or it can be the type of reunion of running back into or meeting up with someone or something that you've been away from for a long time. Now, this is considered to be a very happy reunion, very upbeat. It can also mean celebration, your own or someone that you care about, such as celebrating around a new baby perhaps a wedding, or some type of really, really happy occasion. Because if you look at the picture of the Three of Cups, you see these three people, they're jumping up in the air, and they're toasting their wine or their champagne to each other. They're so happy, they don't care that they're about to get all wet and land into a lake. A very, very happy come together. Now, it's with this Knight of Pentacles, which is really good. The Knight of Pentacles, it's about stability. Yeah, so, if you're single, it's the type of card that indicates you're ready for a serious relationship. And it could be soon that someone who's ready will find you. And they'll provide you with security and support the type that you want. Yeah, this Knight of Pentacles, it's a good indicator of solid, stable, and commitment. Someone who's, um, yeah, not afraid of commitment. They, this is a very practical type, patient, protective. This type is a knight in shining armor. Faithful. Knight of Pentacles there, like I said, it's about stability. This type of person is... They make really good fathers. So basically, Scorpio, the recent past energy between you and your person. Three of Cups clarified by this Knight of Pentacles. So I'm getting that for some of you. You could have gotten back together with someone that you used to be with. For some of you. And it was good. Yeah, you two celebrated. You rejoiced. You, you, two, you two had a great time. And it felt like it could, well, it felt like it was stable. It felt like it was on solid ground. It felt civilized. And it just felt, felt right. There were no games being played. You two just had a great time. So it was, it, you could still be with this person. Like I said, for some of you, that was the situation. Well, for other Scorpios, I'm getting that. Hmm, the person that you're with, um, they're good for you. Yeah, and, and this person probably was not someone from the past. Um, it's just the type of person that um, is stable, civilized. That's what they bring to the table. Security and um, they're not afraid of commitment. 
and you two have a lot of fun together. So those are the two storylines that I'm getting for the recent past energy between you and your person. Now, let's move on over and let's see what's coming up for, for the two of you. So we got the death card and it's with the chariot. Now, keep in mind the death card, it does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. It is considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death because we're creatures with free will. And such things, they're not written in stone. The death card, it simply indicates transformation and change. Definitely a time of deep transformation could be both internally and externally in your life. Could be some situations, things, and people that you have counted on or have gotten used to. They may no longer be available to you in quite the same way as they once were. Keep in mind, though, this transition, it can be difficult for some people, although the change is nearly always needed. Now, it's with a chariot, which indicates a lot of energy, but it's not a free-for-all energy. It's, act it's actually directed. It's controlled. And it has a goal in mind, even though it goes really fast. Chariot, the chariot could possibly go 100 miles an hour or more. It just goes real fast. So when this card appears in your reading, you're probably fairly clear on what your hopes and dreams involve and what you're willing to do to make them come true. It points to determination and ambition. It's about getting things done, testing and proving that you've got what it takes. So this is a sign that you should move forward with whatever you have in your mind and in your heart and give it your best shot. But remember though, you're going to have to use both your head and your heart your head and your heart in order to truly be successful. So what's coming up? Death card clarified by the chariot. So yeah, I don't know, Scorpio. Like I said, if this is a past person you're dealing with that came back and things are good or or if or things were going good, because this is this was, we were talking about the recent past energy. I'm not sure if it's someone that you're dealing with and, and you two did a lot of celebrating, enjoying life. And it felt stable, civilized, practical. But for some reason, because the death card is here, it's showing that you're losing interest. Yeah, and you're planning, wow, with the chariot, you're planning. You've got other plans and goals and dreams. Yeah, so that's interesting because the recent past energy is not that bad. Yeah, you two celebrate a lot. You two have fun together. Um, this person is... Stable and civilized, but oh wow! You know I'm gonna have to close this window. Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay, sorry about that. So, yeah, anyway, coming up, it looks like you're losing interest with the death card here. And you're making plans towards something or someone else. That's interesting. Uh, hopefully, we'll get some more clarity on that by looking at the rest of the reading. Because, yeah, things look good. The reason it past energy looks good, but let's see what's what's coming up for the challenge. So, the challenge, we got the Eight of Cups. 
and the Ten of Cups. Now, the Eight of Cups often mean that you choose to leave a situation that's no longer working for you. Whether it's a relationship, a job, a neighborhood, there could be some sadness involved. But the separation, it's in your best interest. Just know that renewed good times, they lie ahead for you. If your gut is telling you that you really need to get out of a relationship, job, or a living arrangement, trust yourself. Instead of this coming out of the blue or someone or something leaving you, the Eight of Cups, it usually means that you're the one who will make a choice. Just know that very often one door has to close behind you before the next door in front of you can fully open. Now the Eight of Cups is with the Ten of Cups, which is one of the most uplifting cards that you can receive in a reading. It points to happiness, perhaps in a more mature, grown-up kind of way, as opposed to the Nine of Cups. Either way, it's a good card. Ten of Cups, it speaks of happy family life, even if you're single, to the overall well-being that goes beyond you, yourself, to include those that you're most concerned about. Your parents, siblings, children, your pets, and much more. Yeah, you could also be spiritually fulfilled. That's a part of the picture also. Yeah, everyone wants the Ten of Cups in the reading, so this is a really, really good card to see, regardless of any question. Yeah, any question. Ten of Cups is like a dream come true. So, Scorpio, the challenge, Eight of Cups, clarified by this beautiful Ten of Cups. Well, oof. I'm sorry, I didn't mean the briefs are hard. Uh, wow, like I said, you've lost interest. I don't know why, just the recent past energy, it looks so good. Stable, civilized. Happy time, celebration. You've lost interest. You're making plans to go forward with something else. With this chariot here. And you're kind of ready to do it now. <laughs> and you know what? The challenge is Eight of Cups. Your person sees that you're, you're, you're ready to let this die. And they see that you're probably making plans, maybe with someone else. So they're 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 walking away too. They see you're ready to move on. They're moving on too. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Eight of Cups could be about things going sour. So maybe it was just. It was going sour, but how when you got the Three of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles? Anyway, let's see what the outcome is. So, we got the Nine of Wands and the King of Swords. Yeah, so, Nine of Wands, when this card comes up, Actually, the first and the best step is to often take a deep breath, calm down. Don't let things that you worry about overwhelm you. Take it one day at a time, one hour at a time, if you can do so. Because some of the worries, they're going to turn out to be imaginary. So get very specific on what you're afraid of and pick it apart. Ask yourself. What is the true likelihood of the worry actually happening? Yeah, because if you see the Nine of Wands, it's a card above the word outcome. This man, he, he's kind of caged himself in with all of these wands. And it looks like he's in the forest and it's really hot. Because this looks like there was a fire. 
behind him. So he's just in one spot. He's ready to battle someone. But actually, there's no one there. So a lot of the worry is more than likely imaginary. Now, it's with this King of Swords, which can stand for a powerful, opinionated, forceful man in your life. He will often, but not always, have hair on the darker end of the spectrum. Could have dark hair, dark eyes, but it could go either way. Or you could be tempted only to think about how things affect you personally, especially if this card is not representing a man or someone in your life. So you might have to consider the feelings of others before you act. Yeah, this King of Swords is a very, very forceful type of energy. So you may not be able to get this man in your life to change his mind or to do what you want. So you might have to change something major about your behavior, thoughts, and or expectations. But you may not want to ex overextend your reach. You may not want to do that. So basically the outcome, King of Swords, well, Nine of Wands clarified by the King of Swords. So, like I said, your person, they see that you're moving on or you're thinking about moving on. You could have told them your plans. And like I said, you're ready to take off now. And... So they see that you're out, so they're out also. So the both of you are walking away. Yeah, death card, I'm sorry, the death card says that you've lost interest. So I guess that does happen. You're just no longer interested. And the Eight of Cups... Your person, they see that it's gone sour. It was good for a while. I don't know for how long their recent past energy was. Maybe you guys were together for a while. But it has, you've lost interest. And they see you're taking off. Maybe you're moving for some of you. What I'm getting, because I'm looking at this chariot. Yeah. You could be packing your bags, and you have to move long distance. For some of you, you're moving long distance. And it looks like the two of you know, or both of you realize, that long distance relationships is not really for you. So... You guys are both walking away. Yeah. Yeah, maybe some of you realize that you, you have to move. And it just, something happened, whereas you have to move. Maybe across country. But then for a lot of you, you've lost interest. And you could just be saying that you're moving long distance, but you're no longer interested because the death card is there, or you're just putting it to an end because you're moving far away, and they see that you're walking away, so so are they, you both are looking, could be wanting, and looking for your ten of cups, just the overall Happy family, happy pets, happy siblings. Want the Ten of Cups. Or maybe your person has just decided you're gone, they're gone, they'll, they'll go find their Ten of Cups somewhere else. But the outcome, this person deep down inside, the person that you're dealing with, Deep down inside, they do have some anxiety feelings about this. Or some anxious feelings about it. 
Iya. Yeah, they they have some worry about it. Like they could be thinking, you know, they don't know enough about what went wrong. Yeah, they feel like that you might just be blowing smoke. What is it? That, that um that um word people use blowing smoke over there over their eyes or just blowing smoke at them. So they might start to be forceful with you. They might be they might start to <clears throat> act really cold. Their behavior is gonna change because you're the one that initiated this walk away. So they're gonna be really They might be forceful toward you, or they might. Hmm. Well, the King of Swords, well, this person will mistreat you. This person is not going to be nice to you. Put it that way. Because, like I said, you initiated. You initiated this walk away. They see that. They saw that you lost interest, and you're packing your bags, so that made them do the same. They see that it, it has gone sour, and they have to go and find their ten of cups somewhere else. And the outcome, they get worried about it, and they kind of like get stuck in their head, because they feel like... Probably they don't know enough. There's really no... There's no... There's no real reason. Yeah, because things were good. It looks like things were really good and you just up and... Wow, you just packed your bags and you left. Or you think you're telling them that it's... You gotta go. So this person, they're not happy. They're the king of swords. The king of swords will cut you. Because he's got this huge sword in his hand. So they could be thinking of things in their head that are not even true. Yeah, that's what the nine of wands does. Like I said... They start to imagine things. Like I said, no one's coming towards this man, but he's about to fight somebody, but no one's there. So you kind of, Scooby, you kind of got this person kind of messed up in the head. Now, if this is true for some of you, I know it's not going to resonate with everyone. This could also be a friend. Or a family member or a situation yeah you don't want to do that to to people but sometimes I know you can't help it but this person's they're starting to think things that are that are not true so yeah you might want to sit down and talk to this person the outcome is not that pretty somebody is gonna get um Somebody is just looks like this person is all messed up in the head, the nine of wands. So your person's not happy. Yeah. But they might pretend like they are because they're they're walking away too. They did want the ten of cups with you. But now they realize they have to go find it somewhere else. So, Scorpio, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified. When I post my next reading, I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future, 
for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you like to try one of those. So Scorpio, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care of yourselves. Come back and check out the next, my next Scorpio reading, which will be in an, about another four or five days, just in case this reading did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. So, I can never say it enough, Scorpio. Thank you so very much for watching. Thanks for all my new subscribers and my old subscribers. I appreciate all of you. It's really helping my channel to grow. So, thank you so very much.